<clears throat> Hello world and welcome to a new episode of America, You So Crazy. I'm your host, Colin Mill. I'm here with this week's co-host. Hello, my name is Peyton Chavez. How are you? So, this is the first time that we're actually filming the show and maybe... When did Trump get elected in office? Two years, maybe, now? Is it almost two yeah, years? Yeah, a little over two years. Yeah. Has it been that long? It feels, it feels way longer. It feels way, way longer. But, um, <laughs> you know, I haven't done America You So Crazy in a while because I wanted to make sure that we were in the studio. So now we're back in the studio and we're doing more episodes as well as a whole bunch of other shows. But, um, you know, we're just going to jump right back into it because it's been a long time. So the first thing I want to talk about is that Mark Zuckerberg has explained that he wants to merge Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram together. What's WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Okay. WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram. Instagram. Huh. He, he realized that, you know, they're getting all, they're focusing on too many different things at one time. They're like, you know what, we should just cram it all together in one. Because they practically do the exact same thing at the end of the day. And they need to be able to, he, he wants you to be able to send a message from Instagram to WhatsApp, to Facebook Messenger. Oh, so it's like woof.com. What's woof? From The Office. Oh, Remember? No. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Well, basically, Ryan, the character in The Office, he created this uh, this thing called Woof, where, where basically, like, you can send a fax, an email, a text message, and a, and a Facebook message, like, all at the same time. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you can basically be barraging someone from all different angles. That sounds like... Yeah, to make sure that they got your message. All right. So if they say they didn't get your message, you know that that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I'm surprised that's not an actual thing. I'm surprised somebody had run with that idea where it's like, you know what? They are to something on this show. You know what? You know what? Well, it sounds like the old Zuck is going for it. Yeah, right? So, you know, some people think it's a bad idea. Like, hey, leave it alone. It's perfect the way it is. But, you know, Facebook is trying to take over the world. So they're like, no, we need to be able to get everybody. Well, because, they're falling out of favor. Yeah, they really are because all these data breaches and selling off people's information and stuff like that. That will, I mean, I would take, take you know, if I had a stock in Facebook, that alone would have me sold my stock. Like, yeah, I don't trust y'all no more. Y'all going to lose money fast if it's this. But um, my thing is, see, I don't know what everybody else in the world, but when Caribbean folks get some WhatsApp, they be just sending you a whole bunch of text messages and videos for no apparent reason whatsoever. <laughs> so I don't need them to be sending it to my Instagram page too. And my Facebook Messenger? Like, no. Nah. Instagram direct message, right? Yeah. The right. DMs. Okay. Yeah. There's, no, there's, no, there's no need to merge the three. No, and, and really the only one of those three that I use is uh, Instagram. I don't use Facebook anymore. Yeah, I barely do it on Facebook. Yeah, I find it to be just generally unnecessary. I think what it was was the election. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the 2018 election. Wait. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the 2018 election and all of the shit leading up to it, all the Trump shit, also reading, all about, you know, Police brutality constantly. All of my Facebook friends are like bleeding heart, tree hugging liberals. And so every single day, I'm getting barraged by a new article. This is the shitty thing Trump said. This is the terrible thing these cops did in this town. And all that. And I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I, I, can't. I don't want to read about that shit every single fucking day. So I don't know. I just cut it, man. I and like, then I hopped on Instagram. I like going on Facebook for like cute little cat videos of cats sipping on milk. I like that. You know, just, you know, seeing kids, people with the show, and they go, hey, it's school day, my kid's going back to school. Like, all of you ugly ass kids, look at them in the same uniform that we wear every year. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I don't, I don't, no. I don't like going on Facebook for the politics, you know. No, That's, but, it's you too know, much. It, it's, it's too much. And, you know, and every once in a while, some crazy stuff happened, like the shooting that happened in what, New Zealand that happened? Yeah, the and then, mosque shooting. And that was live, wow. that was live stream, right? Wow. On, was that, was he that on did. Facebook? He live streamed it. On Facebook, right? On Facebook, yeah. yeah. See, that's why Facebook is falling out of favor. Right, and, and Facebook, but Facebook did do a relatively good job at, like, deleting all that shit. Because for every, every you know, um, stream that they were deleting, you know, another one will pop yeah. up, obviously. No, was and so they man, had yeah. admins, like, around the fucking college clock just like deleting shutting it down like i think they said like 
mil- correct me if I'm wrong, guys, 13.5 million videos in 24 hours that they either blocked or deleted. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why too many? Why why so many people reposting that video? What, what, what? It's disgusting. It don't make any sense. I don't want to see anybody get shot. Right. I didn't see the video, but somebody was sending it to my messenger, and I was <sighs> yeah. Somebody said, "Watch it before it gets deleted." I'm oh like, no, no! Let it get let it be deleted. Disgusting. I don't want. I don't want to watch people like crawling away, begging for their lives. That's disgusting. It's just and exploitative, guys. Very much so, you know. And so shout out to Facebook for getting rid of that footage. Um, but also, I'm I'm done with Facebook. So you know, good good for you for doing that. But I'm not. My mom is on Facebook, Facebook now, guys. <laughs> My mom is on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Once your parents is on Facebook, <laughs> the, the game is over. Okay. But she called me all the time now. Like I saw you made a post, and there's a girl there. Does she know that post? Yes, mom. She knows that on. She posed for it. That's her job. She, she she's the model, mom. Uh, <laughs> oh, when your parents ask you about the things that you post, because my parents have been on Facebook for you know ever for quite a while, but um, I've never had them make a comment about something that I posted. I actually hear that it's pretty common. For parents to, you know, text their children, call their children, like, hey, I saw you posted this. What's with that? You know, my parents never did that. See, I actually, I'm actually one of the few people who put his mother on Facebook because I got tired of her friends telling her what I was doing and they didn't know what I was doing. So, like, there was one time I, we did a show called Parks That Works and it was supposed to be about guys learning how to you know, dress nice or whatever. And then, uh-huh. you know, because what happened was, I had, there was this girl who, like, just twerk around me every time I dressed really, really nice and stuff. So I was like, there you go. I'll show you how to get a girl to twerk she around you. She would twerk around you every time you dress nice? Yes. Oh. So I was like, guys, Interesting right? lady. Right? So I was like, I'm going to teach guys to make, you know, dress so nice that girls want to twerk on you. You know, that was the whole concept of this show. So my mama friend hit call my mother, hey, I think you need to watch out what you're saying. Whatever you're doing, I don't think that's legal. And, 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 right? So my mom's like, not oh. legal. Right? Because uh, the, the, the tagline on the video was, want to learn how to get hot girls and da 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 da. Watch this video and Oh, uh, like know. maybe had prostitution connotations? That's what, that's, what, that's what she thought. So my mom would come and like, oh, they're telling me you're selling girls on Facebook. <laughs> and, like, like, what? You were selling girls. Like, Carmel what? was selling girls. Like, no, mom, no. <laughs> I'm like, mom, watch the stuff. If you watch it, you will get it. You will get it. So I created her a Facebook account. Of mine. Just pay attention. You, you can see for yourself what I'm doing, okay? And she actually Carlos. told me. She actually told me not to read, come back with America. You're so crazy. She says she's afraid of me talking politics and stuff like that. Cause she's mm-hmm. like, they will kill you. I'm like, Mom, I'm not Dr. Martin Luther King. I, I'm not Malcolm X. Yeah, there, there are there are plenty of people that are probably a lot higher on their list. Right. Me talking. <laughs> can't, to- can't get all of them. <laughs> 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 or you can. I don't know. All right, social media days. Scary secret, to think right? about. <laughs> all right. But yeah, but I you're you're pretty, we're we're all pretty low on the list. If I had to I'm, guess, I'm pretty sure. I, I, <laughs> if there is a list, I'm pretty sure I'm at the bottom yeah. of it. You know, I don't even think I'm on it because I'm not on <laughs> Facebook. Like I said, right? And you know, talk politics and stuff like that. Nah, but, not like, anymore. Fuck that. <laughs> all right. So to so ne- the next subject for today. Is about snow plow parents. Snow plow parents. You guys snow know what a snow? Pl- you so you know what a a, a a soccer dad is, right? I know a soccer dad, a soccer, soccer mom, mom, stage parents, stage helicopter parents. parents. Mm-hmm. So now there's a new term called a snow plow parents, mm-hmm. and it's snow plow parents will plow everything in the way to make sure their kids' future is great. I.e., the parents that paid and bribed their way to get their kids into schools like Harvard and Princeton. And oh, all those I think I know what you're getting at. Yeah. Okay. So you know, like I found out about this because one of my favorite TV moms or aunts, Aunt Becky Full House, you know, she mm-hmm. is in the news lately because she got caught up in the scandal of bribing a school to get her kids to go to a pre- you know prestigious school, and mm-hmm. it's not just her, but a whole bunch of other yeah, wealthy, well-to-do. People. White ladies, right? White ladies, white old white guys, you know. Yeah. Black folks, we just give donations to the school that usually does it the trick. Like, all right, I'm gonna give a million to your soccer team so my kid could get into your school, you know. Or the, the Greek, the, they need a new Greek building, you know. The, the set team need new shoes or something, you know. Those those are the old ways, the old fashioned way. You just give a donation and boom, your kid's in the school. But no, they're like. Nah, we just gonna bribe y'all. We ain't got all time for that, you know. My kid is really good at sports, okay? 
cool, your kid's good at sports. He could go to Princeton. You know, and it's crazy because I was talking to a few people. They were like, you know what? I'd have met a lot of people who I knew they were they wasn't smart. They went to all these schools, but I knew they wasn't smart. There wasn't nothing smart about them. And now we know why. Because their parents paid their way to get to the school, you know? Yeah. But is, is that really news? I feel like that's just been America since day one. Yeah, you know, I saw that pop up on my little news app or whatever and I just I didn't even I, I didn't bother to read it because I was just like, Oh, okay. Like that's not that's, like that's that, not I'm not even First of all, remotely surprised at that. Right. Second of all, I feel like that's not. I don't know. There's just so much. There's just so much going on. I, like, why? Why is that news? I feel like that happens all the time. Right. Well, I think it's funny about it. It's usually the same people that be like, "Hey, God, you need to pick yourself up by your bootstrap, and you know, you be able to do things on your own, and you you gotta work really, really hard." Yet they don't say one that's making sure the kids. Go to the most prestigious school just because it looks good on their, their resume. It, look, it looks good on something. I right. don't know. I, I don't know what it's worth anymore, honestly. I, I personally, I did not finish college. I went to three different colleges, spent a very brief amount of time at all three of those colleges. And uh, the way that I um, paid for my time there was just, you know, fed loan. <laughs> just, just fed loan. And for that very brief amount of time that I've spent in college, I still have a good amount of debt. I yeah. still have about ten thousand dollars in debt. I didn't even graduate. Not even close. I remember when I was in high school and I was like looking for colleges to go to. I was talking to one of my teachers, and she's like, "Yeah, you know, I'm still paying on my college loan." I'm like, "Wait, how are you teaching me? You still ain't paid for your degree yet." <laughs> like, wait, hold on. Because you still get it. Right, you still get it. You still get to have the degree, wait. but you also get to have. The depth of having it. The weight on your shoulders and on your back. That steered me away from going to college depth. for a little bit. I was like, you know what, maybe I'm not, I'm not, ready, I'm not ready yet. You know, there's a truck going by. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, truck going by. Um, I was going to Full Sail University, and then they was like, yeah, we'll get you financial aid. I was like, awesome. Full Sail? Full Sail, full sail oh, University. Okay. Went to Florida, realized I'm on the wrong side of Florida because I was in Tallahassee. Found out I was in Orlando. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Right? I went all the way to Tallahassee so, to find out the school all the way in Orlando. Like, oh, ooh. well, you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. You live and you and learn. Then, Sometimes you have to go, what, what is it? What is it, like 200, 300 miles in the wrong direction? Mm -hmm. <laughs> More than that, I took, a whole, I took a whole road trip to Florida. I drove from... I mean, in the wrong direction. How oh. how, how how far is Orlando from um, Tallahassee? Yeah, yeah. Like three hours, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But still, too long of a drive on a, to do on a daily basis if I was going to live out there. And... um. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we, we, you know, we'll financial aid say we'll give you five grand. You just gotta figure out where to get the rest of the fifty grand for the rest of the semester. And I'm like, oh, for the semester. Semester. Fifty thousand. Did you say fifty thousand? Fifty thousand. For the semester. Semester. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. That's too much. My mom was like, yeah, I'm not co-signing shit. You, you gotta figure that out on your own. And I'm like, I guess I'm going back home. And I just end up just downloading all the books anyway. Like, I'm just gonna. Find out what we're supposed I mean, to be studying in school. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Personally, in my opinion, it really, it depends on what you're going to school for. Mm -hmm. It depends on what you're trying to do as a career. Me, being a performer and whatnot, being a you know an actor, dancer, writer, singer, all that stuff. Um, personally, I feel like I get my most valuable education from the experience itself. Just being out in the field doing shows, that's where I learned the important stuff. And some people get a lot from going to school for that and taking classes and, uh, and working with professors. And, and, and honestly, like when it comes to grad school, like, um, like getting your, your um, what is it, your BFA, yeah, uh, that's actually really, a, a lot of people get, get some, you know, really good things out of that, mostly when it comes to like experiencing connections and being able to get your work, you know, uh, put out there. Mm -hmm. um, but personally, just for me, I did not have all of all that much use um, for college. Uh, I college, college, is, college is starting to feel like a scam now. Uh, it feels like a major scam. It felt like a scam when I went. Like I still like part of me want to go to school, but then I realized I could learn this on my own. I don't have to pay a building to get these books where I could get the books on Amazon for the same price, or sometimes even less. So it's just like 
You know? Right, and obviously, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a therapist, if yeah, you want yeah. to be a fucking... You can't be, you can't be t- trying to operate on me, telling me, okay, I got the book from Amazon. I, I know yeah, how to do this. Yeah, right. And if you're going to diagnose me, I need to know that you got a degree. Right, yeah, that would be nice. That would be <laughs> nice, you know. And that you got some, some, you know, formal training. But, you know, I, for a lot of vocations, I feel like a college degree is just, it's just unnecessary. And speaking that's of, just me. Think, speaking of the medical field... I, this is perfect segue. So CVS have decided they're gonna start launching CBD products <gasps> in their Yay! store. It, it I didn't be, know that. It will be available soon in eight hundred locations. Woo woo! Wait, how many locations do they have? Like a billion? CVS probably. <laughs> yeah, they, hey, it's company. a start. Eight hundred <laughs> is a start. <laughs> but um, Cora Leaf Holdings, Cura Leaf Holdings, has announced that CVS will sell its CBD products in roughly eight hundred locations upon launch. That is awesome. And, um, you know, CBS is the biggest drugstore in America, I believe. I think so. I, I'm, I got to fact check that, but I there's believe. There's CVS and there's Walgreens. And Those are the Walgreens. behemoths. And Rite Aid. And Rite Aid. Yeah, and Rite Aid. Uh, Rite Aid is not big in the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. Um, I don't remember ever seeing a Rite Aid in the Midwest, but I think it just it just depends on where you are in the country. Right. But we definitely had CVS and definitely had Walgreens. Well, CVS has said that they partnered with the CBD product manufacturer because they comply with all the practical laws. Because, you know, some places, like especially in New York, they stop allowing people that sell like CBD products, especially CBD food and stuff like that because of like, you know, if not FDA or somebody didn't get the right amount of dosage in the product and stuff like that. So CVS is like, you know, these guys meet our standards for quality and, uh, you know, they're providing everything from creams to lotions and to every other thing in between. You know, now creams, lotions, droppers. Are they doing gummies? They didn't say, but I'm sure. I'm sure. Gotta do, do the gummies. gummies. Gummies, gummies, gummies are a staple. That's not like it wouldn't make any sense if they have everything else but not the gummies. Like, come on, we have the lotions and the gummies at our spot. We uh, have the lotions. We got the gummies. We got the tinctures. We right. got the vape. You do um, have the vape. What is the, it? The pen. The vape. Cartonage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what's the, the oil? The vape oil. You just put the oil straight into the vape pen yeah. and then. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, cannabis is currently legal for med- medicinal use in 33 states and D.C. And um, it's funny how to say that. It's a 30 sta- 33 states and D.C. Is D.C. not part of the 50 states? No, it's not. It's not? It's a territory. Or it's a... Yeah, it's a territory. Just like... I don't know what it is compared to like Guam and Puerto Rico, but it's not one of the 50 states. And uh, I know that because I know the state song. I learned it in uh, fourth grade. <laughs> I went to school in Indiana, right? And uh, it was very important in the public schools in Indiana for us to know our states and our U.S. history. I think I remembered it from um, what the history, histomania, history. What was that that show used to be on WB? The um, it was the, the music. It was like the thing of the Animaniacs. They had another show, history. Um. Oh. Are you talking about Schoolhouse Rock? No, that's good. I mean, Schoolhouse Rock definitely t- taught us a lot. But oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. You learn everything you need to know as an elementary student about your country from Schoolhouse Rock. Classic. I think it was like Historia or something. It's called the, the 50 Nifty United States. That's the name of the song? Yeah. Oh, on Schoolhouse Rock? No, no. They didn't have the state song on Schoolhouse Rock, History Rock. What? Oh, hysteria. That's a show I'm thinking about. They had a song on hysteria about all the 50 states. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember, and we're not going to... But we're also, we're talking about CBD right now, right? Well, I was talking I about the 50 states. I don't know what we did. I mean, we're talking about the 50 states. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, and D.C. not being a state. No, right. D.C. is not a state. Right. But they do have a um, a uh, Miss America contestant. But they're not America. They're part of America, but it's not a state. But well, either or, we in this country have made $10.4 billion legally so far in 2018 alone. Yay! So, New York is on its way with, uh, you know, trying to get some of that money. You know, they, they, every day it's like, we're getting close to it. Oh, we're not so close. Eh, we're getting close. Oh, not there yet. So, you know, I'm happy that CBD probably going to have CBS because that means we're getting closer and closer. Me too! And, so um, much more accessible. And CBD is not that bad. I, I've tried it, and I, I thought, oh, this is not going to have any effect on me. They do. They, you feel it. I had a lemonade, mm-hmm. and I was li- literally passing out. Like, I, I was at work. Lemonade flavor? No, it was literally lemonade, CBD lemonade. And, oh, and, oh. 
And I didn't think any, I didn't think it was gonna like hit me. But I'm sitting here at work like, oh, oh, you know, I gotta wait till I get home to finish this. This is this is really hitting me. Holy <laughs> shit! Okay. Yeah. So you know, mm-hmm. I have tried. I've tried two different brands of uh, CBD. The first one, I don't remember what it's called. I got it through my therapist office in um, back in Indiana. And um, it tasted really good. It was the berry flavor. I did not notice a difference at all. I guess the concentration was maybe too low, but I don't require all that much. I don't know. Um, but then once I ran out of that, we decided, I went with him. Mm-hmm. We decided to uh, like go I to this, uh, this sort of like, yeah, yeah, you knew where <laughs> it was. And they had just, it was like a smoke shop. And they were selling, you know, CBD there. And they were all different brands. It was a huge array. I didn't know, even know where to start. And then I just asked the guy, like, what do you suggest? And then he showed me to this, um, this array of this, uh, this brand called Hemp Lucid. And they had it in four different concentrations. I ended up getting the, um, I guess the 1,000. It was the second highest concentration. That was $160, but I swear to God, guys, it was, it's amazing. We, I bought it in November. It is now March and I have a third of it left. That's how, that's how highly concentrated and powerful it is. You don't need a lot. Also, it tastes like death. It tastes so bad. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The terrible tasting one is the one that works. The one that tasted good is not very good. I, and I don't know if that's the case with every single brand. It's probably not. But I like the fact that my um, CBD oil tastes like I've been chewing on grass and old weed. <laughs> <laughs> Because that means it's working. <laughs> you know, it's great. Most of the time, these guys just take, like, you know, THC oil or CBD oil, and they just stop flavoring it on it, and then the flavoring just overlap everything else. So, if you're going, going for the flavors, just know that most of the times, you're getting, like, 75% flavor and, like, maybe 25% oil. Yeah. Maybe. And stick that yeah. under your tongue. Right. Under your tongue. That's when it really works. I mean, I've... That's what everybody keeps telling me to do it under the tongue, but every time I had to drop my dumb ass, I would go like this. Uh, uh, so it just hits my tongue. But it, it, it hits me either or, but then again, I do more than CBD. So, yeah, you know, yeah, this guy so. this guy actually smokes. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, not for moral reasons, but because it just it doesn't work. It's legal in 33 states now, people. What can I tell you? You know, 33 states. 30. Wherever it's legal, man, like, fuck it. I just don't, uh, yeah, you know, it makes me paranoid. Everybody has a different reaction to Right. Yeah. But there's no THC in it. It's the THC that makes me paranoid. Not the, um, not the, uh, what's the thing? That's, CBD? Yeah. Yeah. What's, the hemp. But it's, yeah, the hemp. The yeah. hemp, the cannabis, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's no THC. So the last story of today. So they are selling Fire Festival merchandise. Really? Yes, they are. To pay back Billy McFarlane's $26 million debt. The U.S. Marshal is selling branded t-shirts, sweatpants, wristbands, all saying Fire Festival because they need to pay off all the people that he defrauded and stole money from. Yeah. And it's like, I like the idea of the merchandising because it was like, oh, I got the shirt for the party. That never happened. But second of it, it's like, yeah. like, I only say this is a good idea because he did, a lot of people did get violated, so I'd rather people do get paid something back to them. So you know, I mean, like however you gotta do it. I don't know. You know, but um, you know, I wasn't one of those people that was dumb enough to spend like eight grand to go all the way to the other side of the world to see Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people need to get their money back, and they need to get it back. They need to get it back somehow. Here's the thing. If you have like a really shitty weekend or, you know, a couple of few days on an island where, you know, there are no working or, you know, sanitary toilets, there are no showers, the food sucks, you know, boohoo, poor you. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you pay thousands of dollars for that shit experience, you should get your money back. Right, because that was more than just, oh, you know, we had a shitty hotel room. Y'all didn't have a room at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you paid way too much money to have you no guys room. Were <laughs> at, like, it's literally, a, I think it's a horror movie what happened over there. I'm surprised nobody got raped or killed over there. I'm very surprised no one got raped. 
Like I am very surprised. I'm sure every woman had at least a knife in their neck, there in their like this the whole night, just like yeah, this with you knives. Know those chicks like, weren't mm-hmm. prepared. They're just they're just ready to have a good time and pretend that it was heaven on earth. Right. And pretend yeah. that nothing could ever go wrong. If, if social media didn't exist, <laughs> they probably would have promoted it. It was it was a success. No, like yeah, it worked out great. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. But came. there was no way. Everybody was live tweeting, and there were so many influencers there. There were so many Instagram peoples who went there, mm-hmm. and it was just like, oh yeah, we're ready to you know documenting their entire trip of course and how excited they were to get there and of course like you were gonna get the blow by blow if i was any influencer that actually went there i i would take this moment where everybody's making you know these fire festival documentaries and stuff and cash in with your own documentary just use your whole footage from that, that whole yeah. trip and like because you have a lot i'm sure they have right? you, a got, lot. you gotta have like yeah. what, 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 what just say i can edit it out what how long would they did for a night, it was there for a night. It was just one night. I mean, are uh, you sure? Well, from the, so it depends on the group. I feel like it was there were several time. people, so it depends on which people we're talking about. If we're talking about the earlier people who showed up early. Then you know they might have been there for a little bit. There were some people who got locked in the, in the airport because they weren't allowed. Yeah, to leave. they were in the airport for hours and hours. The right. people who made it to the airport. Right. And right. Then I feel like there was one guy who passed out. I saw the the Hulu documentary. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was like a guy who passed out. But that was the worst thing that happened to anyone, like, physically. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't I haven't heard anything else. Which is crazy. Yeah, it people shows how privileged people, these people are. <laughs> there were people running around peeing on other people's mattresses and poking holes in their tents just to make sure nobody else was staying near where they were staying on, on that side of the beach. And it's really? Like, yeah, it became real Lord of the Flies. Real, you know, a real-life version of Lost. You know what really gets me? Right, which we'll grind your gears. <laughs> <laughs> is those, um, you know, when they were uh, when they were detailing how uh, in the documentary when they were detailing uh, how um, they were filming the promos. Yeah. Did you watch the Hulu? The uh, not the I, I, Hulu, Hulu, the Hulu version. <laughs> I watched both the Hulu and Netflix. Right, right, right. I only saw the Hulu version, but I remember they were um, detailing how the the filming of uh, one of the promos, and they had pigs in a pool. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, the yeah. pigs in the pool, like. Mm-hmm. Hey kids, you can swim with pigs, and the pigs were biting people's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they turned a jackass real quick. Yeah, they were just running real up quick. to people and biting their genitals. I don't want to swim with pigs. I'm sorry. I don't want to. the no, models wanted to do it, but not me. That's just the nuttiest shit. That's I'm just good. the nuttiest shit. What do, what do you have going on in your life? Like, like I want to swim with pigs. How much time do you have on your hands? Where that just seems like that just seems like a very attractive thing. Right, it's like what pigs are done. great. I haven't swum with piglets ever. I haven't swum with pigs. Yeah, I want to no. swim with the bacon. Pigs are fucking great. They're 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 like dogs. They're incredibly affectionate and they're a lot more intelligent than a lot of people think. But why? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not swimming with no pigs. <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie. If you see that commercial, the commercial is a pretty badass commercial. It just, is. But they can't. They couldn't. Pro- oh. You know, deliver on what they was promising. They couldn't. And it was extravagant. It was crazy. I mean, the chance to party on Pablo Escobar's island and hang out with models and see your favorite <laughs> artist perform and stay in a villa or uh, you know another rented yeah. place on the island. Yeah, like Bonnaroo and Coachella, but like even more exclusive right. for only the richest of the rich, right? Millennials. Mm-hmm. Hey. You can afford thousands of dollars for a fucking tent. Right. You guys did it to yourselves, you know. You did it to yourselves. I'm sorry. You should get your money back, Mm -hmm. definitely. But Uh, maybe you needed a weekend of um, (laughs) of hell. (laughs) You guys are needing a wake up call. Like no money can protect you everywhere. Yeah, it can't. Your money can get you you here. Your money can get you here, man. You guys have found your way back home. Yeah, like, ooh, this is what it feels like to be trapped somewhere. Right? <laughs> right. Oh, is this what it feels like to struggle? Do you have any idea who my father is? <laughs> that's a, that's how we, everybody was here. Is it stop? I said, the started over. And we're just when we're about to end. I'm at the last. We're at the last. Yeah, we got to piece uh, that together. Yeah, I'm going to have to. But, um. 
Poor kids. Poor kids. Well, no, they weren't poor. And that's how they made it on that Yeah, island. they were poor. Exactly. Yeah, Doesn't matter who your daddy is. <laughs> <laughs> You're you know, still stuck on the island. <laughs> I'm sure there was a lot of people who heard that, like the people who worked on the <laughs> island, probably heard that all weekend. Like, yeah. do you know who my father is? Do you like, know who my father is? Your father's is. not here. <laughs> I, am I am the captain I now. I am the captain now. I am the captain now. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. I am the captain. I am the captain now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Matter. Who? I, I go I go on vacation every once in a while, and <laughs> I I'm very nervous when I'm somewhere I've never been before. So it's like I don't know how those people even made it to the island without turning. I would have made. Well, been, because I they don't think that anything bad could ever happen to them. Before I even leave New York, I'm checking everything. Like live all the live tweets. Like anybody got there yet? Anybody? Everything okay over there? Everything cool? Is it safe? Like I'm not going anywhere without. Deep, like fact checking every little detail. Like I read every you don't understand. I read every review before I go anywhere. Reviews are important. Guys. I sit there and I go for a whole hour and change. I'm learning everything about this location before I get there. Yeah, man. And like there's only a few times I actually said, you know what, fuck it, let me go check it out. And I tell you, don't don't do it, don't do that. The only time the, the the only time that I did that was recently when right. I went to New Orleans. Right. Oh. Yeah. Right. And that was it's not New Orleans. It's not. It, it's it's a long story. It's not New Orleans' fault. All right. It was just a bad trip. All right. It was a bad fucking trip. Right. And I didn't do my research. That's why. I Always did. do your research, people. Yeah, do your research. Always do your research. And when you don't, then you have us looking at you going, America, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. That was this week's episode of America, You're So Crazy. We'll be back here at the same time, same place next week. So see you next time. Much love. God bless. Later, y'all. And we're out. Uh, one show down. Here yeah! we go.